Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about uh, the basic overview about mycosis. Okay, so what is mycosis and what are the different type of mycosis? So let us talk about mycosis. Now mycosis is a uh, disease uh, or mycosis are the type of diseases caused by different type of fungi or mycota group organisms. Okay, that's why the term is suggesting us mycosis because it is a disease so let me write disease caused by mycosa or mycotic organisms okay uh, for example fungi different types of fungi fungi like aspergillus fungi like blasto uh, uh, different uh, penicillin fun fungi or different cocytiodes fungi histoplasma fungi so different types of fungi and the depending upon the type of fungi in causing the infection uh, the name of the infection is also given okay now in this video we are going to list the different type of mycosis infections and the causative agents of those mycotic infections so let us talk about so the first uh, so so let's write the first uh, example for that let's say histoplasmosis histoplasmosis this is a diseased condition and this histoplasmosis is caused by histoplasma histoplasma this is the example now the second example of the mycotic infection is cocidiodomycosis cocidiodomycosis now this mycosis disease causing agent is cocidio Cocidiodis, 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 imitis is the example of the agent that is causing cocidiodomycosis. Now the third kind here is blastomycosis, which is a very very dangerous disease. Blastomycosis, and this is caused by this blastomycosis is caused by blastomyces blastomyces dermatitis the fourth one of this type of disease aspergillosis it's pretty common disease aspergillosis it's also called the farmer's disease or farmer's lung disease because aspergillosis and most of these mycotic infections are majorly uh, pulmonary infections or uh, lung infections most of them and and most of these infections are systemic in nature so that's why these uh, mycotic infections are hard to treat because they require a long time to be cured and uh, normal antibiotics are very common so some uh, some amount of antifungals can be given uh, and so same type of uh, antifungal agents so resistance can be common and they take a long time to cure so they are kind of systemic in nature so this is called caused by aspergillus spore aspergillus aspergillus flavus or aspergillus nicer okay I should put uh, the underline or italics because these are the scientific names but I am not putting uh, for making it shorter and also they can be caused by candida or candidiasis it is caused by candida species candida albicans it's a causative, causative agent for this infection so you can see these are the five major mycotic infections that usually uh, uh, going to trouble human being more uh, but among all of this mycotic infection certain things I always want want to tell and uh, I've already discussed cert certain points and those points are most of them are systemic in nature so what we mean by systemic that is they are traveled traveled through body they travel through uh, different locations of our body okay via bloodstream this is uh, why that's why they are systemic in nature and they take a long time to cure 
Okay, so these are the major properties. So once you get any kind of mycotic infections, it's very important uh, to take the medicines for longer period of time. And typical drug or medicine that we look for this kind of infection, typical drugs that we use. And those drugs are systemic. Those are systemic antifungal drugs. Antifungal drugs. And we'll be talking about those drugs. For example, ketoconazole, uh, lactoconazole, fluconazole. These are the type. And most of this infection and the properties of this infection, so symptoms of this, most of the infections, we'll be studying each of them differently. But most of the infections regarding all of them, they are pulmonary in nature. They are pulmonary and they always infect lung. And they most of the time cause uh, chronic lung disease, chronic lung infections. Okay, so that's kind of dangerous about these mycosis infections. So we need to take care of them, and we know that they can infect different regions. For example, blastomycosis can almost infect each and every single tissue of your body. Okay, Aspergillus majorly infects pulmonary or lung tissue. Candidiasis occurs in uh, mostly in women, in women va vagina where it is moisture in all, all conditions. So these are the different variety of these infections and we need to be very careful about treating them because they are chronic in nature. Okay, so that's kind of it and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.